Really, oh, oh, okay, we got a hoverboard in the last part. That's accomplishing something. Um, yeah, we need the trespasser in this. We got a section in this level. There's a section in this level we need to complete in order to be able to complete the bit on the next planet, Eudora. Um, I've got it all memorized what you need to do on each planet, so I'm going through these in pretty rapid succession. If you haven't played this game before, you're probably going to spend a lot of your time going back and forth between the planets trying to figure out what to do. So that way you don't have to go that way other than for completion's sake. I will be going that way because it doesn't take that long. This way you have to go in order to beat the game. There's a necessary item this way. seen that message before. Uh, there's a skill point in this section for beating the whole section without touching the ground. So that could be fun to get. If you're trying to do that sort of thing. this now. Hello. Hi. What's this you have for me? Pepsi. Ah, oh, cool. That's it. Alright. Hold on. Ah, oh, that was my little brother. Just got back from the shop. See, you may hear him again as a guest commentator in future installments of this walkthrough. Ah, the trespasser. Okay, notice here that they lock the door behind you. Okay, no they don't, I'm just being stupid. Uh, if you want a gold bolt, just pop down here, ah, and then fall off the edge like a moron. That's all part of getting the gold bolt. Okay. Right, if, if you do that without falling off the edge like a moron, then, uh, it, you don't you don't get it. You can't beat the game hundred percent. So yeah. Do we do exactly what I mean? Okay, the trespasser. This one's quite easy. Some trespasser puzzles later on in the game are really fucking difficult. But you're supposed to get on that platform to go down, but this game has no fall damage, so fuck it. Oh, that's that section. Let's get you the trespasser. This is basically the way you unlock doors in this game. Right now, this way. Commentary. Keep talking. I'm supposed to keep my mouth from the 
yammering on about whatever I fucking feel like talking about at the time. Um, look at that. Guys with flamethrowers, uh. <laughs> Hey, you ever watch George Carlin? Uh, if you want to laugh, look up some George Carlin bits. He's got one bit about a flamethrower. It's <laughs> quite funny if you want to laugh. So, ah, George Carlin. Please me on to a new tangent. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I just talk about random shit. The one says Excellent Adventure is actually one of my favourite films of all time. If you haven't seen it, and I'm guessing a lot of you haven't, because it's not that famous, it's a bit of a cult bite. But it is fucking brilliant. It's about these two guys who travel through time and then save the world with the power of rock and roll. It's awesome. Go watch it now as soon as you finish watching this walkthrough. And, uh, yeah, George Carlin is in it. That's why I started talking about it. George, George Carlin is in it. George Carlin. George Carlin is a funny guy. Funny guy. Uh, funny guys. Yeah, that's my next tangent. My favorite comedians. My favorite comedian is Eddie Izzard. If you've never heard of Eddie Izzard, I don't care, don't finish watching this walkthrough, go look up Dress to Kill and watch the entirety of that right now, then come back and watch this. Listen, I saw Eddie Izzard actually live here in Dublin uh, a couple of years ago now, Jesus. That was so brilliant. <laughs> it was absolutely on top form. Okay, cutscene. No signal whatsoever. This downtime is killing me. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic dick. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. Yeah. Yeah, so if you... There's a gold bolt up there. You need the magma bits to get it. You don't get those for ages. Um... Uh, oh, yeah. So you got a real guy. Uh, if you win the, um... Oh, there's another gold bolt I didn't get. Right, I'm gonna get, gonna get this gold bolt, and then I'm gonna go to the next place. So I'm gonna get this gold gold, gold bolt, and then I'm gonna end this part. What's it doing about? So there's a gold bolt over on that island. I, can you get to it from here? This is never how I get to it. But no, you can't get to it from here. No, don't. <laughs> okay, you can't get to it from there. Gonna get this gold bolt, but I'm not gonna get it in this part, unfortunately, because I died like an idiot. So, yeah, yeah, go to the next part. <laughs>